everyone, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe with part four of my 2017 forecast. This is for April and we do have a new base card and it is co-create. However, it's in the reversed or protection position. So for the spring, this card is representing us having um, a possible issue with actually creating maybe writer's block you can't get your ideas across or whatever and so what this is saying is when you tap into a higher source and you ask for guidance and you ask for that imagination and that creativity then you will be given that inspiration you can't always just tap into yourself and expect all of your creativity to come from within yourself. Most creative artists liken their work to some sort of divine guidance that they got uh, or inspiration. Some of the greatest works, some of our greatest inventors have no idea where they got their information from because they either went to bed and had a dream about something or just something um, downloaded into their head and that is a complete divine connection so what this is saying is this coming spring it's going to be super important for us to connect to some sort of higher guidance in the universe whether that be God the universe your spirit guides your ancestors archangels ascended masters connect to them and ask for the inspirational guidance that you need so that you can go and create now as soon as i saw these cards that i chose for april i just got a hit right in the gut and the cards that i chose from my oldest deck is the five of pentacles and then from my crystal deck it wasn't even a crystal it is the card of fire and so typically this five of pentacles what this represents is poverty um, insecurities and um, lack of material goods lack of everything and that kind of scares me especially going into this year of 2017 however the one great card uh, of fire this talks about complete and total change and transformation and in order for change and transformation to come about we must have complete and total dis destruction so what I'm picking up with these two cards is war it could be the beginnings of war but it's going to be the beginnings of enormous change there are going to be a lot of us that are extremely frightened i am not the only one that picked up on war doreen virtue if you follow her she is an angel card reader she's been doing it probably twice as long as i have because she is much older than i am she picked up on war as well for april and then I stopped watching her 2017 forecast at that point because I just wanted to uh, get my own information out there and then I'm going to go back and see if I match with hers. However, let me just read this passage to you that I found extremely beneficial after I picked up on this energy. The element of fire has appeared as a signal for you to prepare for transformation you're being initiated in a trial by fire that will create drastic change in your experience of the physical world before the creation of the new can begin however the destruction of the old must take place fire is directing you to seek deep within to find the outmoded aspects of life and then offer them up to the dragon within to be transmuted into new and more beautiful creations and then also too in shamanism we will use the fire um, as a symbol when we are 
you know, having a full moon fire ceremony because fire has the quickest, biggest, most cleansing, changing effect of, of anything. So if you really want change to come about, that's where the fire comes from. That's why when you're doing your new moon wishes, your full moon wishes, if you're writing them down on a piece of paper, you then put it into the fire. That's also why I like candles. It's a sim symbolism, the symbolic gesture of fire to create that change. So that's what I'm picking up for April. And uh, based on the energies of the past few days, I really even more strongly feel it going in that direction of war. And, but it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, we do need change. So stay tuned at, for part five, which will be May. And peace and blessings. Love you.